Hey traders, welcome back to Brock Algo, your go-to source for knowledge and insights in the trading world. Today we're diving into a pivotal indicator for trading that can significantly enhance your trading precision, the Bollinger Bands. We're exploring what Bollinger Bands are and how they work, and later in this video, I'm going to share with you a trading strategy that you can build yourself with up to 77% win rate. Bollinger Bands consist of three components, a middle band, an upper band, and a lower band. The middle band is typically a simple moving average that provides a baseline for the current price trend. The upper band is calculated by adding a specified number of standard deviations from the simple moving average, while the lower band is derived by subtracting the same number of standard deviations. A standard deviation is a statistical measure that quantifies the amount of variation in a set of data points. So when the price is volatile, there's more variance or there's more fluctuation around the price, the standard deviations will be larger, meaning that these bands will move further apart. When the price starts to consolidate, i.e. there's less variance or less fluctuation, the bands will narrow because of this squeeze effect, as it's called, which is often followed by a breakout in one direction or another as the volatility starts to pick up again. It's something that you'll see referenced a lot in the online guides and trading tutorials as a strategy. It's not one of my favourites though, so I'm not going to dig into it too much more here. The simplest way to use Bollinger Bands is with a mean reversion strategy. This essentially hinges on the idea that over time, as the price breaks above and below the upper bands, the expectation is that it will eventually pull back to towards this average price. So this leads us to think that if the price breaks below the lower band, then this might be an oversold area and we should look to buy. And if it breaks above the upper band, then it's potentially an overbought area and we should look to sell. Now this alone can work sometimes in a sideways market. As you can see here in this example, if you'd have simply bought when it dipped below the lower band and sold when it rises above the upper band, then you can scalp some profits along the way. The challenge is that a lot of traders will make this mistake of assuming that this reversion will just take place indefinitely. We know the price doesn't just move in a cyclical way and you get trends upwards and downwards over time. So just relying on the price reversion alone will mean that in some scenarios you end up trading against the overall trend of the market which can be damaging. As you can see here in this example, during this bull trend, if you'd have sold or gone short when the price moved above the upper band, you'd have missed out on all this potential upside here. And vice versa, as you can see here in this downward trend, if you'd have simply bought when the price fell below the lower band, then you'd have been catching a falling knife and you could have been riding these losses all the way down. So how can we avoid these mistakes and turn this into a profitable scenario? Well, one way is to make sure that we've identified the right market conditions by using some trend indicators first, and then trade between the middle and the outer lines. Let's take a look at an example. Example. Here in this bull market, you can see that throughout this period, the price fluctuates between the upper band and the middle moving average line. Similarly, in a bear market, you can see the opposite, that the price tends to swing as it falls between the middle moving average line and the lower band. So how can we build an algorithm to take advantage of this? Here in this example, I've built a strategy that just looks at the bull side of that scenario. I've grouped together my blocks so you can see what they're doing individually. I'm using a combination of moving averages and unbalanced volume to determine that the market's in a bull trend. You can see that I've got three buy conditions feeding into an AND block, so all three conditions have to be met before the strategy will trigger a buy. The first one is that the short-term moving average price should be higher than the longer-term moving average price. Here I've used 20 periods and 50 periods, but you can play around with other ranges and see what works for you. For the second one, I've established that there's momentum in the market by adding a condition that the on-balance volume needs to be higher than its 10-part moving average. If you need a reminder of moving averages or on-balance volume and how these work or why I might have chosen them, you can check out my videos on these indicators for a refresher. Lastly, in addition to these two, I've specified that the price on the 15-minute chart has had its low point below the middle moving average line of the hourly Bollinger Band. Conversely, I've specified to sell when the 15-minute price closes above the upper band. I've gone with the smaller time frame of 15 minutes because while we're using the hourly charts to establish the overall trend of the market, we want to make sure that we're capturing the swings within that range. So this should mean that we know we're in a bull market and that we have a strategy that would just trade in this channel as we talked about. This is a very simple strategy. It's taken me just five minutes to build and you you can see if I run a backtest over this section of the algorithm alone, over a three month period this year, this gave me a winning ratio of 76.74%, which is pretty good. This backtest took 39 seconds to run, which is pretty fast. If you're interested in this trading software, it's free to use, it's free to build and backtest on. If you want access to the premium services, they're running a free trial period for new users at the moment. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can hook it up to any exchange account for an API. I've got it set up to my accounts of Coinbase and Binance, but there are others available as well. So just trading on the bull side of this Bollinger Band strategy, this backtest showed we made a 7% gain within three months, which isn't bad, but I think we can do better. As I mentioned, I wouldn't just trade with this one set of rules alone. This would be one set of buy and sell conditions within a wider algorithmic strategy that would have a lot of other buy and sell conditions and a couple of stop losses in there as well. Remember, this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This
this is a high risk way to trade and you must do your own research. Make sure that you thoroughly backtest any algorithm before running it live. So there you have it, an easy to implement, easy to build strategy using Bollinger Bands that can give you a 77% win rate. Hopefully you found this helpful. Check out some of my other content. Happy trading and see you next time.